What are some of the things that people could be doing if they go, all right, I like the site, everything else is ticking a lot of the boxes and the backlinks are okay. Like they're, it's justified, still worth purchasing, but they want to do some work to the backlinks in terms of cleaning it up. What do you, do you suggest a bit of a backlink audit and, you know, removing some of the links? Like what would be a, a standard case scenario? And, and this will be a general, this will be for a general site because I know it's going to be dependent on each site, but what would you say in a general sense would be a good course of action to take? Yeah, I, I was going to say um, exactly before you added that a bit about the general, <laughs> general site that obviously it depends our favorite answer. Um, but. I wouldn't necessarily go in and, and try to start removing or disavowing links um, just like that. Because, you know, on one hand, Google, obviously, they claim um, and we as SEOs need to, you know, verify those claims that um, they are good at ignoring links. So you don't really know which links they ignore, which ones they don't. Okay. Something that might look let's say suspicious to you might not necessarily need to look so suspicious to the algorithm. And, you know, the thing is, it's, it's, it's always a, a numbers game, right? So first thing I wouldn't do is I wouldn't go in and start disavowing, you know, go, going crazy, removing links or, or letting Google know that there's something happening with the backlink profile that is, um, that, that is out of the ordinary. Okay. Because, I've, I've, I've seen a few times um, over the recent uh, year or two, um, new owners of the site who bought the site went in to do a huge cleanup. And apparently Google, Google didn't like it. Google didn't like it when it comes to link building. Google didn't necessarily like it when it came to, you know, completely restructuring the site. Okay. As the saying goes, don't, um, don't fix what's not broken. Right. Um, what I would do, though, I would probably look through uh, the link profile and mark any links that I think are suspicious um, just to have them highlighted for later. OK, if something is, you know, going um, going down, let's say the traffic is dropping or, you know, you know, after an update, you think there's something affecting your site. I would then look at my list of everything that I highlighted and reevaluate that list and maybe then do some sort of disavow. Okay. But this is like a preemptive activity to have a, um, kind of like a, like a snapshot of the current situation, you know, your yeah. worries somewhere documented because you might need it later. Okay. Another thing that I would probably do, um, I would also look at good links that the site has um, that I definitely don't want to lose. Okay. And in case I lost them, you know, you can you can do it actually simply through an alert in Ahrefs, uh, one that sends sends you lost links. Um, and if I did lose those links because, for example, the previous owner was paying for them every month or something, I would probably try to try to get them back. Um, okay, that's um, that that's that's a pretty important thing. And um, obviously, depending on what links you have in your link profile, because Obviously, when you're buying a website, you know, there might be some PBNs. And I don't mean like PBNs that everyone, you know, fears and hates. But obviously, people are building good PBNs to, to support their sites. And, you know, they're not uh, public. They're more like private um, blog networks, <laughs> right, as, as, as the name says, actually. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so you know, they might be used only for their network. So obviously, if they sell, sell the site, they will be removing those links, right? So I would try to uh, spot those as well and try to compensate um, for that loss of, of link um, authority. Yeah, we see that actually quite common in a lot of sites where somebody has a site attached to one of their other sites and it's in completely legitimate links. It's not like, you know, you know, a PBN that people are fearing. It's, it's completely legitimate. But once they purchase a site, is that yeah. other links going to stay in place? And, and what would that look like? And what's the risk to this, to the owner, the new owner of the site, if they were to remove those links and what's the, what's the backup plan? Um, the condi 
contingency, which is something that we mm-hmm. definitely audit and consider um, all of those risks, the level of risk, how to reduce and minimize it as soon as possible once purchasing the site, which is pretty key. So backlinks, that's really good. I'm so, so glad that we had this good discussion around. But so are you going to say something? Uh, yeah, sorry. I I think because um, when you said to have a contingency plan, this one one more thing that is actually so obvious that I didn't even mention it, um, but it might be beneficial for for the listeners. Uh, so every website has some sort of link velocity, which is the number of links it's getting every month. Okay, mm. so after you purchase the website, you should try at least to maintain the velocity. <laughs> okay, because again. Um, you know, once you bought it, Google will see that there's something changed that the site isn't getting as many links as it used to get um, or something and, you know, might start getting a little suspicious, a little, little touchy feely on the site and, um, and, 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 you know, start looking more at it, right? So you should actually, you should have ready your own link plan um, and just maintain, at least maintain what was happening for a few months if you want to you know build less links obviously you know in in many cases you if the site is um authoritative enough you can um although you know i would be careful with that but don't don't do a, a big switch at at the same time you know do it gradually 